Here he comes! The brave driver truck! The brave, brave one we did, going into the scary deep forest, you know, in the middle of Silent Hill. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Voxel Tycoon. I am Nira Meta, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're gonna build ourselves a trading and manufacturing empire in this limitless, and I and I'm gonna emphasize it, limitless voxel world. The key has been supplied by the developers, which I'm very, very grateful for. I'm actually recording this thing before the actual release of the early access version of the game. As you can see on the screen, this is early access over here. Yeah, it's a access boy. So keep in mind that the things you are about to see may be a subject to change. And well, what exactly do you do here? As I said, you build shit. I actually had my eye on this game for quite some time. I do believe it has been almost two years since I first spotted this game, or maybe even more. And, well, it got my interest. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. What you do here, you mine resources, you process them into goods, you, I don't know, do shit in the factories, and then supply, uh, you make basically gigantic supply chains, and you supply towns and cities, but also you can uh, get yourselves a proper fleet of vehicles, trains, trucks, buses. You can turn small cities, small villages, you know, small friendly towns into gigantic metropolis. You know, you want to build that fucking night city? You want to build yourself night city? I don't say that you can't, but I can't say that you can. It's like, you know, you have to check it yourself. So first of all, of course, you have to start by building your own company. How exactly are you going to do this thing? So. We've picked, of course, the name, the Syndicate, as usual. You can pick your company color, you can pick the currency you'll be playing with, so if you want to, you can go with the Glorious Polish Zwote, or maybe you want to go with the Russian, or maybe you want to go with classic ones, such as, like, I don't know, the European Union one, or maybe you want to go with, where the hell is the dollar? I don't see the dollar, where is it? I've seen it somewhere over here. <laughs> I've lost the dollar, god damn it! You can then pick how the towns in the game will be named. Apparently this thing will be randomly generated, I don't know. So, you know, let's let's just stick to uh, to American. You know, just, just for, like, for the purpose of this video. Word seed, uh, okay, whatever this thing is. Difficulty, okay, let's leave everything on normal, because why not? Percussive pyroid, uh, disabled? <laughs> just in case, okay? I want to actually build big. Uh, Ward, okay, let's keep it on normal. Let's let's keep those things on normal. Mods, base game. Oh, you can have modding in the game. Well, 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 boys, you know what you need to do. So, let us generate ourselves the ward and, well, we can actually try to make some basic money. How wonderful. We got ourselves a generated uh, ward. Portland region. This is a good region to do business. Look around for resources deposits to start mining from, buy vehicles and supply cities demands. When you're ready, make more complex products, research new technologies and expand the syndicate to other technologies, uh, to, to other territories. Good luck, okay? Right, sure, why not? Let's, let's go with it. I wonder if we can actually, yeah, we can, we can expand. Oh yeah, we can expand tremendously, so yeah. This is the point of the game. Apparently, the world is supposed to be unlimited. So just like in Factorio, but this over here you don't actually have to worry about you know monsters. You don't have to worry about biters. What you have to worry about is well, taxes obviously. So yeah, we will see how that thing's gonna go. Welcome to Voxel Tycoon. Uh, the tutorial. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna have it in mind, but I'm gonna actually roll blind. So we'll see how that thing's gonna go. Portland, 200 people living over here. I, I I don't know how you've managed to stick all of those people inside. Okay, what do we have over here? Heating plant. Okay. So, let me guess. You guys have no access to that thing. Okay, and there is a nearby coal deposit. Okay, very nice. I wonder if there's actually a way to have unlimited uh, resource deposits at some point in the game. I don't know. We're gonna find out very soon. You wanna tell me that even the forest is limited? Oh no! Oh no! Okay, so let's start by acquiring some basic resources. Coal mine would be nice to have. Yeah, sure, let's slap this bad boy right over here. Enough some. Okay, so yes, you can have trains over here. If you love trains, you can have trains. Now we need to build ourselves some road, I guess. Let's see, what does this thing? Stations. Freight station, double bus station, bus station, waypoint. And then, of course, you have some roads. Yeah, sure, let's lay out some roads. Uh, I'm gonna lay out a road, starting from here. There you go, nice road, good road, healthy road, yeah! Okay, and I'm gonna lay it all the way over here. I wonder can I later on connect to like different cities and make some money out of that thing. 
Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. So, how do I actually... Okay, how do I... I want to know one thing. How do I set up transport routes? Ah, there you go. Set a coal mine, build a mine on the deposit. Uh, okay, I got that thing already. I may have made a slight mistake by building this thing before the tutorial uh, <laughs> requested me to do so. Don't you worry, boys. Papa got this. I've played these games, those type of games for some time, so I think I actually got it. Okay, so I built myself a garage over here. Let's get ourselves a vehicle. Uh, I think this thing, yeah, this thing can trans trans uh, transport coal. So let's get this bad boy. Oi! Right. right, so now, add stop. Okay, pick destination. I want you to go over here. I think I actually have to give you a road. Uh, okay, I need to have something, I guess, to load this thing. Double boss, freight station. What is this thing is for? Range, 75 meters. Okay, I think it applies to that thing. Right, we will see. We will see soon enough. So I got myself a truck in the garage. Pick this bad boy. Okay, I actually have it pick it already. I just stop. Aha! I want you to load uh, full. And of course I want you to load coal. Add order. And I want you to unload. No, okay, maybe not here. And how do I... Add stop. Pick destination. Okay, it doesn't work like this. So what, I have to add you another garage? Apparently I do! Sure. Let's make you... A warehouse right behind this thing over here. Can I actually make a road over here? Yo, hello! Game, 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 game. Stop fooling around. Okay, this should work. <laughs> I have no idea! <laughs> We're gonna find out soon enough. And I'm gonna destroy the house by mistake. No! Okay, I can do something like this. Sure, let's make a ro uh, building over here. And I'm gonna probably still destroy the house. Can build here. Why not? I've managed to make a route like this, so we can. I think I can work with it. And I can. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I said you could work it. There you go. Okay. So I'll stop over here, and I want you to unload everything. There you go. Right. Go. Go, my little truck. Go. Make me money. Come on. And. Don't be shy. Come on. Oh, wait. Come on! Ah, there he is! Ah, oh, so cute! <laughs> right, so he's gonna go now to the uh, to the to the warehouse next to the coal mine, and he's gonna load some shit, and well, he's gonna start to make me some money. Here he comes, the brave driver truck, the brave brave one we did going into the scary deep forest, you know, in the middle of Silent Hill, just to pick up some coal to keep the people happy, to keep the people warm. And here he comes, closer and closer to the loading station. Wait for it, wait for it a little bit longer. I wonder how this thing is gonna actually get loaded. Hey, dude. I think you forgot about something. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, I need to probably make like a intersection over here or something. Oh. Okay, keep that thing in mind. Don't do something like this because... It could be a problem for the tracks later on. It's gonna block. It's gonna block traffic over here. Okay, let's let's do something like this maybe. So he's gonna make like a uh, turn around because just in case if I have to continue the road, let's say to the city over here. And those guys require wood from me. Hey, why not? I can provide you with that. There's a forest nearby. So same thing. Uh, mining facilities, some meal. Uh, I want to build this thing somewhere over here. I have to build a second suitable deposit. By all means! There you go. Now, I want to build, obviously, roads. Stations. Okay, so this time, don't do something like that. Let's do something like this. Okay. And then the road... Is gonna go... Yeah, the road can go like this. Can I do something? Okay, I cannot do anything with that thing. But, what I can do... To make my life a little bit easier... Is I can lower... The land over here, a little bit. And that will allow me to make a flat road. I am a genius. Genius incarnated, boys. <laughs> Heating plant has received the first supply of coal. Well, that's lovely. So how about they're gonna fucking pay for it? And... Okay. So we got ourselves another one of those. And I think... I think I could try to make a road between those two stations. Uh, I mean cities, and we could actually try to make 
some boss connections around here as well and see how that thing is gonna go. So I'm, you know what, I'm actually gonna do it over here, like this, because, well, the area is flat. There you go. So how do I set up, uh, how do I set up bus stops? There you go. I wonder if this thing actually work. <laughs> well, looks like it will. So let's make one bus stop over here. And I want to make another bus stop in the middle of the next city. Hello guys, how are you? Would you like to have a bus stop? Because I can provide. Yo, build this shit here. Hello? Really? I cannot build here? Oh, come on, game. Oh. Have some. Right, garage. Bye. Mm. Yeah, passenger's bus. Buy this bad boy. Select you. Add stop. Over here. Uh, load? <laughs> Does it matter? Unload? I don't know. Full and full. Add stop. Go over here. Unload. And load, I guess. Okay, we'll see how that's gonna go. Yeah, sure. Okay, go. Go, my little one, go. Yay, he's on his way. In the meantime, I am gonna make another connection. I mean, yeah, we got a warehouse over here. So now I just need a warehouse right over here. And... No, not this thing. Uh, this thing. Okay, and then remember not to go directly on the on the road because that's gonna stop some cars some trucks from going around so that could be a potential problem and we need this guy so he's gonna be transporting wood for me select him add stop go here load add stop go here unload full and full and go go and make me money <laughs> Give me a second and I'll be transporting people to fucking Mars! Oh, this is gonna be a bigger challenge. Look at that. They require both coal and wood at the same time. Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna be... That's gonna be tricky, boys. We have to do it uh, the right way, you know? I... Okay, I want to... I could actually potentially... No, I can't. Unless I'm gonna do something like this, but that's, that's not gonna apply. Yeah, it's a bit too far away. Oh! If I'll make this deposit here, I could basically do it for two factories at the same time. That could be handy. I wonder can I copy this truck, for example, horn. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, send to garage, no. Skip order, no. Take a right, no. Follow vehicle. Is there a way to copy this vehicle? Industrial route, edit. Hmm. I really, really would like to copy this thing somehow. Developers, why you haven't added a way to, <laughs> to copy this? Okay, another second. Maybe, maybe I have to do it the other way around. Okay, let's get ourselves another truck. There you go. Okay. Copy. Copy what? Pick a vehicle to copy. Ah! That's how it, well, that doesn't copy the route, I think. No, it does copy the route. Go, my little one, go! Ha <laughs> ha! Brilliant! You just have to do it from the garage level, not from the track level. Okay. And for the next thing, I'm gonna acquire two of those. But buy one for now. Uh, at stop. Of course, we're gonna go back to the lumber yards. You know, we're gonna destroy Mother Nature because that's exactly the thing we do. And then you're gonna go to this one over here. Right. Accept. Go. And after you're gonna la leave, copy. And go! I am a master of industry. I will soon bring desolation to this world. But you're supposed to fix that yet. No, I won't. I will destroy it. Oh, I'm gonna make myself a gigantic desert, desert in the middle of nowhere. I am the hero the world <laughs> deserves, not the one it needs. But aside of that, you have to admit that the game is really cute. Uh, okay, how's this this thing? How how do I how do you make him money? Huh? Okay, I think that you could actually could use. One more truck to speed up the process over here because you're not making me enough money, that's for sure. But then again, I cannot buy more trucks since I'm running out of cash. Yay, expenses! Oh, I got a loan. What do I have? No, wait, what? I have a loan? I have no idea. I am losing money! Yay! Wait, what's this? Hitting plant has received the first supply of coal. Yay! We are making money! I am actually making money! 
<laughs> Wait, what's gonna happen if I'm gonna give you delivery of... Uh... What's gonna happen if I'm gonna give you the first delivery of wood over there? I don't think I want to know. So, let's conclude what I have done so far. First of all, I've destroyed the natural order. I've destroyed forests and habitats of little tiny creatures, you know, little tiny creatures that go behind your back, they crawl on your back and basically they're really fucking annoying. So, I did that thing. Yay, for industry. Uh, I built myself a garage where I'm keeping my entire collection of Ferraris, so I have to empty it from all of the old trucks from there. So, I've actually managed to find a way to make a use out of those trucks. So we got a few trucks that go around and transport coal, we have a few trucks that go around and transport logs. We even managed to restore one old bus that is currently transporting old and smelly people between two cities, so that's like a, uh, like a plus. Uh, and now I also developed uh, a road, yeah I've had to spend a lot of my good money but you know I have to need, I need to have some space to test out those Ferraris that I own, because well I'm the, that type of a guy. Uh, I've managed to connect on an iron mine over here. Iron deposit, iron mine, same thing, almost. It's related to iron. And that iron mine is currently trans supplying a city all the way over here in Lodi. And this thing is buying, well, it's buying some amounts of, of, uh, of iron, which is awesome. But we need more. We need a lot more. So I'm gonna select my garage. I'm gonna select the copy tool. Gonna wait for the truck to go over here, which is this truck over here. Uh, actually, I have to slow down the game because I'm old and I cannot aim like a fuck. And I'm gonna copy this truck and order him to do exactly the same thing. So he's gonna be going around and transporting ore for me, iron ore, and that will bring me more money. So let's focus maybe on research right now. Open the tech tree. Ooh, conveyor belts. Well, Factorio. Gasoline engine. Okay, so that means bigger truck. Requires iron ore, okay. Mining, copper mine, stone quarry, sand quarry, rails, roads, better roads, garage version 2, freight station level 2, double bus stop, bus stop, beam bridge, okay, that's nice. Steam engines, oh yeah, locomotives, storages, and research level 2, which will unlock me the laboratory level 2. This is where I'm gonna get the rockets. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Iron smelting, wood processing, manufacturing. Okay. I requ I need to build myself a lab for that thing. Demand decreased. Oh no! El Paso. El Paso is no longer buying more coal than it should. Where the hell is El Paso? I have no damn idea where is El Paso located. Portland. Philippi. Ah, there is El Paso. So El Paso is buying now less coal. <laughs> We will see who's gonna lose money on that thing, you losers. Look at all of this juicy money that I'm making. <laughs> I will bring Syndicate on new heights. I will dominate the world soon. Everything will be under our control. My control. I, I, wait, this is actually accurate? I think it is. Supply loaded with iron ore to prevent business from cl uh, closing. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, I, I'm doing my best, I guess. Prevent business from collapsing. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. Portland now accepts iron ore. Well, 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 well. What you look at that. Oh, there's a new company over here. Well, too bad you built it so fucking far away from my warehouse. Dipshit. Oh, now I have to spend another additional money over here. Why do you have to do this thing to me, huh? Game. Why? Why? I've been I've been a good guy for you. I've been a good guy. I haven't hit you even once, you know, stuff like that. But you are basically trying to piss me off right now. Like honestly, what the shit, man? Uh, okay, let's make it over here. I'm gonna increase the road size over here and a bit more over here. You better fucking connect. Why are you not connecting? Okay, you want to really piss me off, don't ya? Destroy the roads. I'll make my own. Thank you so much. There you go. Okay, so you want me to buy another truck. Sure, by all means. Let's buy yourself a truck. Let's don't buy the truck because I don't have enough money. Yay! Here comes the Fur Islander everybody. And... Okay, well, that, that was nice. Awful. Yay. 
The game is basically take, telling me what do they think about me. That's awesome. That's great. That's how about you gonna go and suck a dick. Right, I need to make for some money. And we're gonna copy another truck. There you go, that's the iron truck. Copy this bad boy. Okay, and allow you to, to go. So basically with this thing, we should be able to make some more money. That's exactly the thing I want to acquire. I need more money. More. More money. Every single time. More and more money. I actually want there's like a way to change this thing somehow. So like, you know, go with coal over here. Load something else. Go to a different place. Unload something else. You know, basically go full Ano style. But I don't think that is possible at the moment. Uh-oh. They're expanding. The cities are actually growing. Which is, which is really nice. I have to admit, this is actually really, really bloody nice. I don't know how big the cities can become. But it's nice to see they are not just, you know, standing in the background and doing nothing. They are actually growing. They're taking benefits from the resources I bring them. Yeah, for example, see? Supply business with the mass requires a lot of cattle to keep it running. And apparently, I'm, I'm supplying this, this factory with a good amount of logs. So this thing can constantly look around, work around the clock. Very nice. How about you can actually give me some more money for that? Awesome deliveries I'm making, huh? Game, come on. Oh my god, I have a full list of my of my fleet of vehicles. And how many money I'm actually making on them. That's nice. That's very nice. Thank you, game. Thank you. Much appreciated. Okay, uh, let's actually try to go maybe into some research, huh? So, history. What the heck is this? Signals? I don't want to do that thing. Okay, I can build myself a lap. If only I would have enough money. I'm missing like 4,000 in cash. Okay, I can now build myself a, a laboratory. So let's build it in a headquarters in Portland. For, you know, like a temporary headquarters. Uh, okay, I'm starting to think that I actually should build it next to my warehouse. You know, just in case. That's probably a good advice. Sure, let's slap this bad boy over here. There you go. My laboratory is built. Okay. Available in warehouses. I'm guessing this is the money. Start the new research. Okay, so you need to spend some time and you need to spend some resources. So that's for the first research. The second research is gonna actually require resources. For example, iron ore. Which is gonna be so fucking annoying. And all of this thing costs me a lot of money as well. Holy shit! Oh no! Okay, this thing is gonna take 87,000. 86,000. And will unlock me later on. And okay. I wonder, how, I wonder what type of values I can make out of this thing. But we unlock iron smelting with processing and manufacturing. And I can make some additional money on that thing, that's for sure. So my biggest concern after establishing some basic transportation, both goods and people, because I've set up some bus stations around here as well, because I bet we can make some money out of that as well. You know, why not? Sure, let's let's squeeze all of the dollars we can. Uh, I should probably focus on repaying the debt first. Apparently I got open up almost a million of debt. And this thing is taking interest of around 8,000. I don't know is that actually super, like, huge amount of money. But it is the amount of money that I am losing. And I hate losing money, especially in games like this. Because I'm a fucking greedy bitch. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to repay this thing as fast as that is humanly possible. Basically by pressing this have some green button over here. As soon as we're gonna make some more money. The mass decreases. Business has difficulties with supply. Lolly now accepts less wood. I do not care a bit. Either you can accept the wood or I'll make you eat it. So I've delivered to another city some wood and they immediately started to expand. Like this city is getting bigger and bigger. I don't know if you guys will be able to notice it. Uh, on the actual video, but yeah, trust me, the cities are actually getting bigger. Which is awesome. I wonder how big we can actually get. Like, if we're gonna pick one city and constantly supply it with the sources, like all of the resources, right? Coal, iron, wood, I don't know, condoms, whatever. H how big you can actually get the city? That's something that actually bothers me. How big can you grow, my little one? My little precious little golden piggy. Yes. Grow. Please grow. Come on. Come on. I want you to grow. I want you to grow a little bit more. I want to grow a little bit taller. I want to... Oh. Changes. I see changes around the city. That's nice. That's awesome. And I'm already making 60... Oh, yes. 20,000. The mass decreased. What? Why? Really? Now you're paying less? Ah, oh, that's annoying. That is honestly annoying. Okay. Repay. 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 
<laughs> I am losing money on repaying. Not great. And in a matter of time, we've managed also to finish our very first research. Okay, how do I finish this thing? Start a new research? Maybe. Iron smelting. Okay, this is gonna require what? Iron ore. It will allow me to create iron bar. Okay. What about wood processing? So, submill. Vehicle is lost. Wait, what? Can't find its way to the destination. <laughs> The hell you- wait, what? What the hell has happened over here? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the f fuck? Oh great, to build a fountain. Uh, okay. Okay, that's a bit of a difficulty over here. Apparently the game have decided to break the road. Sure, game. Sure, sure. Allow me to maybe fix it for you, huh? Because... What the actual shit, man? Can't find a way to its destination. Yeah, no bloody wonder. I cannot build here. What? What do you mean I cannot build here? You telling me I cannot build here? Me? Oh, apparently I can Oh, okay. That's a bit of a problem. Hmm. Okay. Game. This is not funny. Why do you don't allow me to build shit? Okay, would it work like this? I am trying to connect this. No, it won't. Okay, I'm just wasting money right now. Wonderful. Okay, I found everything. Let's make it different way. I think the problem is with in the in the intersections. Okay, let's try to. Okay, I cannot make something like this either, which is a bit of a problem. All right, I may have accidentally screwed myself over a little bit, but okay. Make this thing here, and this thing here. Okay, and keep it like that, right? Don't do anything else. Just leave it as it is. Right. So this research apparently is gonna be super easy. Let's let's accept this. So to my understanding, I have to now deliver wood to this facility, right? So buy a truck, order him to load here. No, wait, not here. Stop, 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 stop. Not here, not here. Where is uh, forest? There it is. Load the forest over there and unload everything over here. Okay, save it and go. So to my understanding, we should be building a stockpile of wood over here so the laboratory can actually take it. Right? I don't know. We're gonna find out very soon, I guess. So here comes the log delivery, I guess. Portland East. Yeah, let's have some that spot land least. Okay, can I actually drive this thing? Hold a second. I've seen some... Take a right. Yay! Follow the vehicle. Skip current. Send to garage. Horn. Yeah, so we can actually... We can actually observe the car if you really want to. Which is nice. But I cannot zoom... I cannot do anything. Horn. Change view. Yay! <laughs> Wonderful! Yeah, welcome to the countryside, boys. There's not much to do over here. The only thing we actually do is smell like each other. And boy, do we stink. Yo, do the delivery. Okay, go around, please. Okay, one, once again, uh, around. And... Will this actually be the thing? Will you drop the wood over here and provide the laboratory with the necessary items to work with? Game, come on. And... And yeah, that's how it works. Okay, so we're gonna for sure need a lot more wood than that. Because this is gonna take ages. Like ages and ages of time. Okay, repay, repay. Right, so how about we gonna figure out how to make even more money? Citizens are celebrating. Oh, Portland Res settlement receives town status. Really they do? Oh! Well, let's look at that! Wow! Okay! Economy average, <laughs> passengers average, demands. Oh! Well, isn't that just fancy? Well, well, welcome, well. That's nice! So you can actually participate in the thing how the cities grow and everything. Okay! So this is a village. This, this week over here, but uh, this city is about to receive the next status very soon either way. Same goes for this one. 
so Portland won't be alone. So that's great. Let's have some. Grow, my little one. Grow. I need to suck out your dry like a vampire. A wonderful little village girl. El Paso now accepts wooden beams. Okay, and how, how much are you gonna pay for this luxury, huh? 345. That's not a lot. Actually, this is a lot. It pays one, around 100 more than uh, for normal wood. Okay, we'll see how that thing is gonna be worth it. But then again, I would love to build myself some more, you know, uh, some more resource deposit, uh, like resource mines, I don't know, sub mills, stuff like that, you know? I don't, we got some iron over here. We got some more wood over here, but I wonder will eventually my resources run out. <laughs> that is kind of terrifying, to be honest with you. I honestly prefer to have unlimited resources in a game like this. Unless eventually the towns will grow so big that they won't require any more resources. That's... That actually have like a proper idea to work, right? I don't know. Like that's that's the thing for the end game. An end game that we won't sadly cover today, ladies and gentlemen, because well, I'm running out of my record time. So for now, I think I'll have to leave this week over here. On a day when I'm uploading this video, the game should be now available to everybody to play it. So go ahead, give it a try. Let me know what you think. And well, we're gonna try to continue building a little empire in the future episodes. If you guys have some awesome ideas, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Eventually, we're gonna get trains, and trains are gonna be actually super, super, super awesome great. Because, well, I... The, the trains are the things that cut, that catch my attention the most during the early trailers that I've seen for the game. And I honestly cannot wait till I'm gonna unlock, unlock the actual proper train deliveries, because I can make rails, sure, I can make something like this, but... This is gonna cost money. This is gonna cost a lot of money, and I think I should try to stick for to trucks for now. But then again, trains have a lot bigger uh, transport possibilities than simple trucks. So we'll see how that thing's gonna go. Maybe eventually the trucks will do something else, and we're gonna focus on trains alone. Because I love trains. Trains are awesome. Everybody should have a train in their garage. But yeah, well, for now, I'm rambling too much, so I'm gonna do this thing as obvious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, if it's up, it's up a lot. Up to you. In the next video.